hi everyone welcome to my assembly language uh, tutorial now uh, in this tutorial what I have thought is that we won't be going directly into coding rather we will try to uh, collect some theoretical foundation behind assembly level language so the first thing we should learn is that what is assembly level language uh, I mean sorry for the spelling mistake out here let's change it a bit uh, now it's fine now let's see first it's a low level language now it is not like other that's the first property we'll get out of assembly level language is that it is not like other high level languages high level languages such as like C, Java they have a syntax and you can do so many complex things with them but uh, not the case of assembly this is the as close as you can get to the computer microprocessor or any microprocessor if you work with and you can see it works directly with the microprocessor now that's the big biggest advantage it has over any language if you take Java it virtually runs on a virtual platform that you know as the JVM uh, but assembly and you can't do certain things with Java for example say you want to know that um, what is your cache size in the processor or you want to know that uh, what is the CPU ID or uh, how much uh, speed it is actually giving and so many things uh, so uh, in the assembly level language what you are getting is the lowest level language perhaps you can ge get as a programmer and it works directly with the microprocessor and embedded system depends on assembly level language as you can see here uh, now in embedded system you don't have a compiler sort of thing uh, it's just you will just get the only the processor and you have to control it by your own you have to write your own uh, you know own definitions how things will work how addition or how subtraction will work so you would be working direct in the lowest lowest level possible and then another one is here is important that is the final product of every compiler is assembly level language thing now whatever language you're using you always use a compiler now compiler basically uh, turns you the program into an object module then the object module is loaded by the operating system and it is and it runs on the host operating system but the thing is that that every compiler generates this assembly level language so by assembly level language you know there is certainly no limitation that uh, you can't do or you can uh, but you must learn it because it works directly to the microprocessor and like systems like embedded system where you don't have any compiler and you have to talk directly to the microprocessor so then you, you have to use this language so this is it for the introductory tutorial now we will be moving to the next video where we would be telling about what computer understand actually or what the CPU understands by the way, thanks for watching the video.